Good morning. Today is Sunday the 26th, and we're going to start with a daily reflection on the New Testament. I almost forgot what it was called for a second. Okay. Wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to withstand in the evil day, and having done all to stand. Ephesians six thirteen. Our mortal probation is a continuation of the war in heaven. It is a war with no neutral territory. We can gain the victory only by putting on the full armor of God. Our loins are girt about with enlightening truth. We put on the breastplate of righteousness to keep our heart tender and protected. Our feet are shod with the preparation of the gospel of peace that we, that we may stay on the path of righteousness. We wear the helmet of hope. We wear the helmet of the hope of salvation given to us by Christ. We hold up the shield of faith to safeguard the truth. We wield the sword of the Spirit or the Word of God to cut through worldly philosophies. When we stand with the righteous in the last days by putting on the whole armor, we will stand with the righteous in the last days by putting on the whole armor of God. Um, yeah, it ties into what I want to talk about with my personal statement, but we'll get to that. So today is Second uh, Peter chapter 3. And in this, some in the latter days will doubt the second coming. The elements will melt all the... The elements will melt at the second coming of the Lord. Um, so he is talking about the second coming. I need a drink of water so bad. Sorry. Um... And, um, he's talking about not destruction, but things that will happen when he does come. And, um, it was almost hard to pick a verse, but I did pick one. It's a verse 10. Um, but the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night in the which the heavens shall pass away with a great noise and the element shall melt with fervent heat and the earth also and the works that are therein shall be burned up. Now the part I liked, and that was the burning and the melting. It was, uh, the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night. And it just reminds me of, nobody knows when it's, when he's coming. It's going to come like, you know, and so what came to mind when I read this was, uh, a line from the movie Dickie Roberts. I don't know if any of you have seen that. It's with um, David Spade. But anyways, they're making fun of him. And he goes, is this where you want to be when Jesus comes back? Making fun of Dickie Roberts? Is this where you want to be? And so that's something I want to remember. My, my personal statement or question for today is, is this where you want to be when the Lord comes back? Uh, do I want to be at the store being rude to a customer and the Lord appears? Do I want to be um, home uh, watching some show that's not great, uh, that's inappropriate? Like, I'm in the middle of watching 90 Day Fiance. Is that where I want to be when the Lord comes back? Um, it's just something to keep in mind. Is, is this where you want to be? So that's my statement for today. We'll move into the verse by verse. Goodness gracious. Okay. For verse 8, regarding the Lord's time, see Abraham 3, 4, 5, 13, Psalm 94, Alma 48. Notice the different emphasis of Joseph Smith translation of Second Peter 3, 8. But concerning... The coming of the Lord, beloved, I would not have you ignorant of this one thing, that one day is with the Lord as a thousand years, and a thousand years as one day. When the Lord announced in the 19th century after Christ that his coming was imminent, near at hand, even at the doors, and so forth, 
It is true according to the Lord's time schedule. So just meaning that, oh, well, he said he was coming back soon, but he's not here. It's 200 years later. Um, it's getting closer than you might think. If, if it's been 200 years since he said it's imminent, then you're like, all right, is this where you want to be when he comes back? That's something you, I need to ask myself every single day. Okay, 10 through 14. This is a description of the second coming and what will happen on the earth uh, as celestial people and things are removed and a new terrestrial order is inaugurated. If we're interested in living in such a new world, what kind of people should we be? That's a good question, too. 15 through 16. This is a commentary uh, of Peter on Paul and also a warning to those who dis distort Paul's writings and other scripture. Okay, then it goes into like dealing with trials, sufferings, and afflictions, um, which is necessary, which would be good for, for earlier in the week, but it's all good. I think we're good to leave it there for today. Uh, and you're probably wondering, it's Sunday, why are you wearing your uniform? Well, you know, somebody quit, so this is my life now. All right. Um, yeah, I'll leave you with a prayer from a diary of prayer. Um, it is the 26th. And this one is from St. Basil, Basil, Basil. O Lord, our God, teach us, we beseech thee to ask thee aright for the right blessings Steer thou the vessel of our life towards thyself, thou tranquil ha haven of all storm-tossed souls. Show us the course wherein we should go. Renew the willing spirit within us. Let thy spirit curb our wayward senses and guide and enable us unto that which is our true good. To keep thy laws and in all our works evermore to rejoice in thy glories and gladdening presence. For thine is the glory and praise from all thy saints forever and ever. Okay. That was Second Peter chapter 3. And next week we get into First John. So it's John 1, 2, 3, and 4, and 5. And then on Saturday, we do 2nd John and 3rd John. And then on Sunday, we do Jude. So we're going through four books next week. 1st John, 2nd John, 3rd John, and Jude. Um, and also next week is December. Did you know that? All right. That is all for today. I love you all. Have a great Sunday. Enjoy it. While I must go to work. I'm not going to complain. I mean, working on Sunday is not my favorite thing in the whole wide world. But I am able-bodied. I can do it. And uh, hopefully I don't have to do it forever. All right. Have a great Sunday. Love you all. Talk to you later. Bye.